What is in your wall of worries? Is it inflation? Is it energy? Is it something else? Uh, the answer to that is there's no single factor. Um, you know, we have to recognize that markets at the moment are being buffeted by a whole range of negative factors. I would highlight actually the last Fed meeting, and I think that investors are now actually starting to appreciate uh, that the tapering is going to be probably more rapid than they originally thought. Um, I think it's probably fair to say that if we'd had this conversation a month ago, uh, the consensus was that the QE program by the Fed was going to end at the end of 2022. Uh, Jay Powell was very clear, which is that they're now assuming uh, that the tapering of QE will now end in the middle of next year. Um, I also think that the voting by uh, the individual FOMC members uh, was also a clear guidance that interest rates are going to go up in 2022, albeit the second half of the year. Um, and we've, you know, we've now got a not insignificant minority of FOMC members who are saying, well, perhaps we might have two rate increases in 2022. So I think that was a very significant factor. And that led, obviously, to the sell-off in the U.S. Treasury market, although we're stabilizing today uh, because of the equity market reaction. Um, but the trend, I think, in Treasury yields is now very clearly up reflecting that change in the Fed stance. And you know, that then feeds into right. equity markets and also into foreign exchange markets. OK, Bob, where does that leave this adjustment then? Where are we in this cycle as equities adjust to that new reality? Um, I think we, there's a very high probability uh, that if we take a sort of six months, one year view, equity markets will continue to outperform other asset classes. And, you know, it's still very difficult to be positive on the fixed income markets when real yields are still so significantly negative. And, you know, one of my themes, our theme, um, is that inflation is going to stay higher for longer. And, you know, over the next two to three months, don't be surprised if U.S inflation right. stays close to 5%. Uh, Eurozone inflation you know, moves up towards 4%. So, you know, that, that's going to be a big challenge. Perfect.